This is it, right? The rock stool? I lied. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention, brother. You are correct. Valhalla, the great hall of the Ain Heriar, is their home within Asgard. While they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself, and relations between the Valkyries and Odin were tense during my tenure as his advisor. Why? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? Gunnar, mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. Ah, Gondu. Beautiful Gondu. And? Huh? That's it? Beautiful Gondu? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondu always took my breath away. Gondo had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. This is none other than Gerdrifold. The master of arms in Valhalla. Responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheria. His what? His army come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Inheria wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking and fat. Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Deirdre Fool had her hands full training that lot. <laughs> friends is Kara. Now Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is Wild Storm personified. A Wild Storm? Aye, calm and collected. Then the air would shift and the fury of her storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her tears would cleanse the blood-soaked battlefields. <laughs> Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods, and even a certain all knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Whoa! Hilda, 
mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. <laughs> Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, she oh. fell defending him during a reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Orun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as the Valkyrie's resident historian. I will do this. I'm going to beat this boss. Seriously, you're first the time. Wow. Yeah. Are you serious? The very start. Death. <laughs> so that's it then. <laughs> Three and a half bars of hell. <laughs> Two bars of hell. I'm. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to play this anymore, but I want to beat her so damn bad. This Valkyrie is a big pile of shit. I hate this. I actually do. But I'm gonna beat it. Try and stop looking at this guy. No, you don't. You still hit me with that? Yeah. 
So many healing stones right here. Fucking tear her wings off. Yes! Finally! <laughs> oh, I don't even I don't even you care what she has to say. How did this happen? It is the You have been freed, but that was nothing but pain and torture for about two hours. No, I no, never again, but never only again. His union to the queen did he ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the queen? There is I'm done. I'm I'm done, done with this game. Like I, I'm done with fired. this game for about a week. When I don't want to play it anymore. Wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough. Oh. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. See, kind of my fucking loot. No, I don't even care what you have I to say. Have something or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Yeah, fuck you too. Just take her stupid helm. Well, we did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy Neither about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. Oh, done. So oh oh my god, I'm so glad that's over. You said it yourself, Ed. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Seems quite strong. Axe throws and recall become incredibly powerful. Low perk activation. Well, let's just go for it. Well, 
That's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. But normally level you nine, I have no idea why I'm level eight. Dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Probably because I changed Definitely. the thing. Alright, let's see what's so powerful about these axe throws. 